ball is life. I actually just realized I match. We coordinate. Hello. My name is Leela. I go by LM Tweet on the internet. I'm an artist, um, full-time artist, actually. You know, just like no big deal. Just no big deal. It's like I'm an artist or whatever. And I made this basketball, but it's not a basketball. It's a pillow, but it's a pillow basketball, a pillasketball. That's also a rug, punch needle rug, basketball rug, pillow thing. And I thought other people might want to know how I made it. It's pretty straightforward, but I'm going to share some of the things I learned because it was definitely a process. It's not perfect and I want to make more and I have so many ideas from this and making 3D rug stuff is really cool and fun. So let's get into it. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to the voiceover. Um, first order of business, everything that I'm using will be linked down below, including the template. You are about to embark on a journey. So step one is find something to occupy your brain and your mind because you are, it's, it's gonna be a journey, trust me. So I printed out the template to size. Um, you could scale this up, you could scale it down. I wanted to keep it true to actual basketball size. The frame that I'm using is an old canvas frame that I just took the canvas off of and I reuse it for all of my pillows. I like the size, it's really durable. Then I staple my cloth to my canvas frame. Again, everything that I'm using is linked down below in my Amazon storefront. I earn a small commission, but it's just so everyone knows what I get because I get asked all the time. If you've never stapled or done stretch to canvas, it's kind of simple. You start with what I call the four points of power at the center of each frame piece, and then you kind of work your way outside. There's no rhyme or reason. You can do it however you want. Step four, once the frame is stretched and I have my cloth on there, is to trace the template. Each shape is the same size technically, but you're gonna need four of each like side of it, if that makes sense. So four of one side and four of the other side. I do not recommend doing a pattern. It was really hard to get the flowers to like translate and to keep track of which panel goes where. Then I pick out my colors and I had this velvet pink that I was like, oh my God, where the heck did I get this from? I don't remember buying this. And I thought I would try out two different options. And I ended up going with green instead because I wasn't sure if I had enough velvet. And then you just, you get to punch needling. You just punch, punch, punch away. What's up? It's me. So this is the portion of the video where I'm like, just punch needle it. But if you're watching this for whatever reason and you're like, what the heck is a punch needle? Or like, girl, I don't know how to do that. I got you. Okay. See these behind me? They're kits. Okay. I make them. I make kits because when I was trying to learn how to punch needle, I would go and get a kit and they're like, punch needle not included. And I'm like, well, what, 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 where's the punch needle? And then the store wouldn't have the punch needle or I would go and get another kit and then I would have the punch needle and it wouldn't like the, it wouldn't work. And I was like, what the heck? Like, why are you going to sell me a kit without the punch needle? And then when I get the punch needle that you say I'm supposed to get, it doesn't work. Huh? Also machines, expensive and heavy. Nobody talks about how heavy they are. It seems like nobody wanted to talk about how heavy machines are these days. Just got to get your fucking ass up and use a punch needle. They're not for everyone, but they're really fun. And you can do cool things like this. It's a fun little hobby, fun craft, fun art medium to explore creatively. So yeah, I make these kits. They come with everything you need to learn how to punch needle. Or if you already have a punch needle, that's like the one that comes in my kit because there are a bunch of different other ones. You can just get a different level. I have a learning level and not my first rodeo level and an expert level, which is just, if you wanna support me as an artist, you can get some of my designs. They're pretty simple. So it's just really to support me. Let's get back into it. This is the part for me where all hell kind of broke loose. Listen, this cloth unravels like it is its freaking job, okay? I stitched all the panels together by hand using just a large needle and some of the same yarn. And I would stitch all the way down regardless of whether I did a whip stitch or not. And so I got distracted trying to do a whip stitch on all like what, eight or 16 seams. You don't know what it is. It's what you're seeing here. It's like the dark green compared to like the white frayed cloth. You're gonna see a clip where I am kind of like comparing the frayed edge to the part that I glued. And what I did with the glue, because I was still stitching by hand, this is my pro tip at this point. Okay, listen, this is the most important part. Put a thin, use a finger or two fingers away from the edge of your design. You're gonna put glue. And you might be like, what the heck, glue? Elmer's glue, clear, it'll dry clear. And this will just stop the edges of your cloth from fraying when you're sewing it together. I think this just kind of solves all the problems I was encountering and would just prevent your pillow from literally falling apart in your hands, which it did at some points towards the end for me. I hand sewed all of the seams together, leaving a little bit towards the end. Those didn't take very long, except when I got caught up in the whip stitching, because at one point I was like, it's gonna be reversible. 
No. Leela, no. Anyways, here we are. Here's the pillow. I really like it. I will be trying to experiment some more. I already have so many ideas. I hope you have a good time. Happy crafting. This video was made by me, edited by me, because I wanted to make it and share it. And so if you want to support my video making and my art making and everything else, you can also support me on Patreon. I have an online shop. All that fun stuff. I might have a few of these bad boys up there for sale once we once we bang out those kinks, you know. This one is not for sale because of the... <laughs> It's not perfect and I would feel weird selling it. Um, it's more shaped like a pumpkin. Look at that. Anyway, thank you. Bye.